I just it, so anyway, let's go ahead and move on. So one of those protests, uh, Justin Jones, Justin Peters said, and Gloria Johnson. So Justin Jones, young black man, Justin Peterson, young black man, Gloria Johnson, white woman, um, was part of one of those protests. Yep, they was in the bullpen. Yep, Justin Jones had a blowhorn. And was checking everything else. And the C legislator said, Oh, that's you're going too far. It's time to expel you. Well, no, the first thing they did was take them off the committee. Now it's time to expel. Now, without fight, without the fact that they're going to fight, of course they're going to fight. I want to play Peterson's rebuttal during the expulsion vote. Is what's happening outside these doors by Tennesseans who want to see change a temper tantrum? Is Sarah, whose son Noah was at the Covenant School, he survived, he's five years old, and she showed up here demanding that we do something about gun violence, is that a temper tantrum? Is elevating our voices for justice or change a temper tantrum? But there's something in the decorum of this body that makes it okay to say that folks who are exercising their First Amendment rights to speak up for the hundreds of thousands of people collectively that we represent, there's something in the decorum of this body that says it's okay to call that a temper tantrum, to call people we disagree with on the issues, to say that all they want is attention. But I'll tell you what, I don't personally want attention. What I want is attention on the issue of gun violence. But instead, we're here with the resolution you put up talking about expelling me for advocating for ending gun violence in the state of Tennessee. I'd much rather be talking with you about legislation to protect Shelby County and to protect our communities than talking about why we don't deserve to have our representation lost because we came to the well of this house saying we've got to do something. That's what I would like to be doing. And so you brought attention or tried to bring attention to me, but I want to turn the attention to the people the people who will never be able to throw a temper tantrum for gun violence. You know, the Larry Thorns, the Catherine Kuntzes, the, the Mike Hills, the Cynthia Peaks, the Evelyn Decals, the Haley Scruggs, the William Kennedys, who will never have a chance to throw what you call a temper tantrum for justice, for gun reform, for the ending of gun violence. They'll never have a chance because we haven't taken our oath seriously because we don't take people who we disagree with seriously. We tell them, you just are throwing a temper tantrum. Yeah. You're a little upset. This too shall pass. It's just another day. Because I'm getting to the point now where whatever day the school shooting happens on, I'm just going to call just another Wednesday, just another Thursday, just another Friday. Because if y'all don't give a fuck no more, why should I? Even when kids are losing their lives in schools, you still play politics. It's all about the cash and it's all about the power. Because, baby, it ain't never going to be about the respect. At least not from me. You are clearly on the wrong side of history. And you will be seen as that. No, that was... Oh, I'm sorry, I did that. Well, Mickey was... First, they took them off the committee. Then they shut down their mic so they couldn't be heard. Yeah, I know. I, and let, let's get to it because this is Justin Jones speaking on his own behalf during the committee. Listen to his mic. 
Y'all may have to turn y'all microphones up just a little bit. But listen to how his mic sounds. And look, listen to what he dig into. But the truth be told that when we approached this well, we broke no laws. We committed no felonies. We did not abuse the power of our office. We were simply trying to gain a voice for our constituents. And so this is not about expelling us as individuals. This is your attempt. This is your attempt. This is your attempt to expel the voice of the people from the people's house. And it will not be successful. It will not look around. It will not be successful. Because your overreaction, your flexing of, of false power has awakened a generation of people who will let you know that your time is up. Let's talk about expulsion. For years, one of your colleagues who was an admitted child molester sat in this chamber no expulsion. One member sits in this chamber who was found guilty of domestic violence. No expulsion. We had a former speaker sit in this chamber who is now under federal investigation. No expulsion. We have a member still under federal investigation. No expulsion. We had a member pee in another member's chair in this chamber. No expulsion. In fact, they're in leadership. But in, the, in the governor's administration. And so once again, what you're saying to us, since you're trying to put us on trial, I'll say what you're really putting on trial is the state of Tennessee. What you're really showing for the world is holding up a mirror to a state that is going back to some dark, dark roots, a state in which the Ku Klux Klan was founded, is now attempting another power grab by silencing the two youngest black representatives and one of the only women, democratic women in this body. That's what this is about. Let us be real today. So, you can mol molest children, two people on a federal investigation, you can beat your spouse, I don't even want to know the story behind peeing in one of the chairs, I, I'm not even going to get into that one. really kind of think all of those things are a whole lot worse than what Jones and Peterson and Johnson did. I don't even think I have to take a second to think about it. I don't think I have to go look at the your constitution and figure, hmm, do, is some of these things going out of line? Should we look into this for expulsion? No, you didn't. No, you wasn't. And no, you didn't give a damn. I mean, next to taking somebody's life, I don't know what the hell any white, y'all little white people up in legislation got to do to get kicked out for, but what, I don't even know that. Do you kick them off a committee? I can't think of anything else you would do. So what was the outcome of it? Two of the three got exposed. Gee, I wonder which were the two of the three that got kicked off. Just let me, I, let take a wild guess. It happened to be the two young black men. 
just so happened to be. But I guarantee you, when I look on the internet, and I look on Facebook, and I look on Twitter, they're guaranteed that they're not going to say, well, this is not a bigoted action. This was not a racist action. Everybody had their just due. It was very equal. Stop making everything right about race. I'll meet you halfway like I always do. I'll stop bringing up race when you stop using race to do stuff like this. Hmm. You better say that. I'll meet you halfway. I'll meet you halfway when your decision is clearly always going to be based on what color is that person that's doing something that I don't like. And I say that because they did go after Gloria Johnson. But she kept the job. So you started on the basis of race. You want me to stop bringing it up? Stop using it. I'll meet you halfway. So, first time ever. Hey, speaker of the house. Mm, let me get some of these comments in before we get too far. Remember back around June 2022 when Congress passed that very small bipartisan gun reform bill that barely did any new restrictions put in place, but they celebrated like it. They it's celebrated like it was a win. They celebrated like it's historic. Yeah, we're giving you what you ask you for. What you talk? What? What's wrong? I don't even remember what the hell they did. I honestly don't remember what it's they did. I remember, I remember it. It's a nine-letter word, and it's nothing. That bill was literally nothing. I don't even remember what they put in that thing. I honestly don't. I know and it then, happened. I'm not saying I don't remember it happened. I remember it happening. I just don't remember. It started out good. It started out really good, but by the time they started this, they work, across the, down. Yeah. work across party lines, BS, when you have the majority, you could have pushed it straight through, but hey, that's just me, but whatever. Oh, yeah. You you have to do that. You have to pause. You have to let it sink in. I told you the, the, the art of argument. When you know you're full of crap, you're going to go down, 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 When you're on the right side, I'm going to say what I want to say and I'm going to pause. I want, you, I want it to sink into your skull. I want, I want it to sink into your brain. I want you to think about what I'm saying. I don't want you to just go by, bypass what I'm saying. Um, yeah, they voted to kick them out of their committee on Wednesday and then voted to expel two of them on Thursday. Yeah. Yeah, Gloria Johnson's advisor is supposed to vote by literally one vote. Oh. But we yeah. know why she survived. Yeah. But we still know why she survived. I was really surprised when Johnson was honest about why she was was spared. Given her prestigious position, I give her credit.